Neon started with us um, really as a, as a pilot. Uh, came to us as a, as a pilot and happened to have this amazing artistic ability. I was hired to fly the corporate aircraft because I've got a background in aviation as well as art. And so they were looking for a um, pilot to fly the aircraft to different locations of the offices and also the projects and so forth. And at the same time, during my interview, I was questioned about my background in art and advertising and so forth. So it was worked out that when I wasn't flying, then I was working with the marketing department for different projects and so forth. This is fairly unique, basically because of the combination of an engineering firm and then a fine arts artist or a commercial artist. And that was something that I kind of questioned when I first started because I worked prior to KLJ as an art director in different companies and so forth. But this was kind of a unique situation for me. My technique is that I bring these areas a highlight, and then if I see they're overemphasized, then I can go ahead and wash a color over the top of it to where if I brought it in there to that color all at one time, didn't like it, then I'd have the option of putting more color over it. This way I just put a wash over it and then just kind of bring it down to the intensity that I want. The nice thing for us is we've been able to really use Leon's work uh, to help us connect with our clients and the communities in different ways. There's really something to be said for giving someone a hand-drawn piece of art that's related to a project that they're working on or something very specific in their community. The pilot portion is probably less unusual, but the artistic component certainly is unusual from the standpoint that it isn't common to probably see that fine art component in an engineering company. We've actually integrated it into our company, and so our office locations are decorated with Leon's artwork. He's had a hand in identifying that layout look of, of how the art becomes part of our office locations. We've had some really amazing calendars. So Leon does a calendar for us every single year, both an aviation calendar and then a regular calendar. It actually works out very well because it kind of gives a personal uh, relationship in some ways or a personal touch to some of the images that I do. This is a Beach 18 aircraft and I picked it out. It's one of my favorite aircraft. It was used in the military, it was used for transportation. This one will be put into the 2018 aviation calendar for KLJ. When we first moved into this building, of course, that's a very open space there and it has a lot of vertical opportunities there. There was many times I'd walk past there and I'd kind of visualize different things that might work in there and try to visualize something that might represent maybe a little bit of what the company is without directly using the images in a realistic form. It's kind of a visionary concept of geese flying. When they're flying, they have a leader, and the leader represents, for KLJ, the CEO. This one here is actually from Missouri. It's a creek down in that area. I started this one some time back, actually I started in December, and I got three of these about this size that I'm working on. And as I progress with it, I'll be putting a lot more uh, warm colors in here, but I'm actually going to put a little bit of layer of mist into this for a morning light. I've done a lot of cartooning. I worked for Fred Laswell down in Florida, who was the creator of Snuffy Smith cartoon strip. I worked freelance with him, but I was always interested in cartooning when I was young. I just kind of carried that on. So I've got my own style of airplanes that I do, certain styles of different elements of characters and things like that. When you get to know Leon, you recognize some of the kind of the traits and the characteristics of his artwork, and, and you can see his personality come through in that artwork. I feel very fortunate that I've been able to work with Leon for the past seven years. And his artwork has really kind of defined different portions of my time with KLJ. And from a personal standpoint, for quite a while, his artwork was the only piece of art that hung in my house. <laughs> He's always thinking how to connect more, how to connect better, whether it's in our office locations with our own people, whether it's with clients or different communities or projects. And I think we just appreciate that vision that he brings and it's wonderful. I found that the people up here were just wonderful people. They were very welcoming for me to get into so many small towns and get to know some of the people over the years. 
it seems like that even though we have this really, really cold climate, there's always the warm hearts and the openness of the people that live in North Dakota. I feel like I'm very fortunate to be able to fly and to do art at the same time. And both of them, you know, they're basically my visions when I was very, very young. And then when I got on with KLJ to where I was doing almost equally the flying and then the artwork, and then I was able to stay with them after I didn't fly anymore, I can't think of anything that's any better than that. So for me, it's kind of like coming to the end of the rope and I've still got a good grasp on it. Sometimes, you know, they say stop and smell the roses. Up here, you can stop and smell life. Funded by the North Dakota Council on the Arts and by the members of Prairie Public.